Welcome everyone to another video here on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. I'm going to minimize my iPhone for now because the topic is App Store and iPhone apps on a computer on a Mac. So how can you go ahead and do that? First of all, what you need to do is to open up the App Store like that. You, you're going to have to wait for it to load up properly. But the basic premise behind that is the iPhone apps, which are um, <clears throat> going to be showing up on the Mac App Store, are going to be labeled with I mean, labeled differently as designed for iPhone and designed for iPad. So if I just go ahead and look it up right here, if I literally just search for TikTok, so you're going to be able to notice that it just loads it up like that. And you have some filters, so you can choose the price release date. And there is also the Mac apps or iPhone and iPad apps. So this is very interesting, right? So you can switch to that and switch to like a different way of filtering so this is what it looks like and you can technically get some iphone apps available on your mac but you can see that the official tech talk app is not even available in here so it doesn't technically apply to everything so let me just show it to you for example CapCut. if you just look it up like that you can technically switch to iphone and ipad apps like this but it doesn't necessarily allow you to do it because you have the CapCut editor for mac inside of the app store so the question is at this point if you really need that or what's really the point or the thing that you're trying to achieve but the basic thing you should know about is that whenever you're looking something up let's say that you look up i don't know something like instagram and you just go to the iphone and ipad apps you will get some apps which only work on iphone but again you don't get the actual instagram app so it's a little bit complicated it's not like you have every single app that you have on your iphone that it's going to be available on the mac but there are there is like a filtering method so that's basically how how it works that's how you can use it so this is what i wanted to show you probably not something that is going to be the best way for you but yeah, this is just how it works. I'm not allowed to do anything more than that. By the way, this is the Fox Tech educational platform, which I created for you to join for free. Welcome everyone. And, and there are so many different things which you can watch in here, like the in-depth iPhone guides, for example, full course on Dynamic Island, which I believe you definitely should watch in case you have the newer iPhones or plan on getting one. So definitely go ahead and check it out. It's free to access. Link is down below. Thank you very much for now. I will see you in the later video in the future.